Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online tuitions, help in assignments, and freelance based projects related to embedded system, MATLAB, control system, signal processing, machine learning, image, pro image processing, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can contact us at our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. So, in this video, we'll have a discussion about uh, a power system, that is load frequency control of a power system. And then we will be uh, demonstrating a project about uh, optimize TLB based optimization procedure for optimizing the parameter of fractional order PID controller. Okay, so let's start with some of the description about the power system block diagram or how we do we simulate a power system. So when we talk about a power system, uh, it consists of several parts because uh, it is a gen uh, power generating unit is there. So first of all, we have a governor. Okay, whose transfer function is given by this 1 divided by 1 plus STG and then it goes to the turbine so depending on the turbines there could be three kind of turbine generally used in power system like non reheated turbine reheated turbine and hydro turbine so in this model we have considered only no irrigated turbine. So if you have requirement for hydro turbine or irrigated turbine, then you can contact us. This model can be changed accordingly. So the transfer function for non irrigated turbine is divided is 1 by 1 plus s t to the power t. So let's put the name of them governor and here it is the turbine it is non reheated okay now then uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, here we can have some disturbances or we can say the load disturbances which can be provided here that means there are variations and load And at last we have these uh, power system or generally also known as the load or it can be known by several terms. So the uh, normal transfer function is KPS, it is, a subs uh, it is in subscript, so KP divided by 1 plus S into TV. Okay. 1 plus S into TP and then here we get this uh, variation in the frequency which is being generated and then we have drop characteristics here in the feedback path which is denoted by 1 by R and it goes to the address part of it here it is being added okay so we can write its name it is known as the drop characteristics and it is the power system or we can say load generators or motors so this is a simplest block diagram of any power system and now uh, our requirement here is if there are any variation in this load disturbances or any variations are there uh, this delta f should be equals to zero that means there should be a uh, change in frequency should not be there it should be or if due to disturbances it is occurring uh, let's say some disturbances are there so they should be opt out as soon as possible okay so in order to do that we apply several controller algorithms like PID and uh, PID controllers so generally PI controllers are used similarly FOPID or fuzzy controller can be also can also be used so in this case we are only considering the FOPI controller so the derivative part will be zero so fractional order PID controller will be there so the input of this fractional order PID controller would be the output of this 
so this is the del f after drop characteristics and this could be the set point and as we know the set point in this case will remain zero because we want to make uh, out or make disturbance to be shunted out right so del f goes here and then we define this kp pair kp uh, or fopi controller so it has now if we talk about fopi controller so it will have following parameters kp plus ki divided by s to the power lambda okay so we have uh, here we will be having these three parameters kp ki and lambda kp ki and lambda now which needs to be tuned in order to make this uh, del f to zero or in order to tune this fopi control further uh, one thing should be noted uh, it is for the single area power system single area power system now as the things got complex or so generally more of the power systems are interconnected to each other so generally we go for two area or three area power system so this block diagram just for the representation and you know, to minimize the complexity while describing uh, the model uh, we have considered this single area power system but uh, in the simulation part uh, we will be demonstrating the work for the two area power system okay two area power system with both the non radiated turbines so for two area power system uh, we will be having for two area power system we will be having two fopid controllers right so we will be uh, the parameters will be listing like kp1 ki1 lambda1 fopid for one area and then kp2 ki2 and then lambda2 this will be the parameters of uh, second area fopid controller so we will be trying to optimize uh, these parameters for the delta f becomes zero and uh, the cost function which have been used for this purpose the cost function again we have used ita so in our case this ita is delta f so we have used this cost function uh, into t into dt to minimize it okay so that acts as a cost function most of the times uh, some delta p is also added here so delta p t into dt okay so more precisely we have used these two parameters uh, to minimize uh, as a cost function to minimize uh, the disturbances occurring here and for the optimization purpose we have used tlbo optimization algorithm that is teacher learning based optimizer so if you require such model or these project files then you can contact us at uh, jcbrolabs.org okay now further we will be uh, trying or we will be uh, demonstrating our video so let's come to matlab specifically in simulink so first let's have a look on the simulink model so here it is two area non rated yeah we forget to mention the parameters of this uh, these values like because uh, we have taken the standard parameters that means uh, which many of the people have used in their papers okay so the kp value is 120 and then tp value is 20 tt value is 0.3 and tg value which is considered is 0.08 and r value which is 1 by r is drop characteristics is considered as 2.4 so these uh, parameters have been considered after going through several research papers by renowned researchers okay so now let's open our matlab yeah this is our model which we have created okay so with non rated turbine system and here we have created this ita block which is calculating the ita and here we have applied a fractional order pid controllers okay so now uh, this particular model in order to calculate the uh, calculate the uh, objective function we have created this function which is 
calling the simulink model from its function and then getting the value calculated IT value <coughs> from that simulink model inside this function and then it is uh, trying to minimize this J with the help of this TLB algorithm so let's have a look uh, what output do we get so we will be obviously we will be optimizing for lesser number of iterations so the optimization will, uh, final result of optimization will not be as good as uh, if we run the optimization for the large amount of iterations okay, so because it is just for the demonstration purpose so let's some parameters here mm, yeah it's fine and let's okay now let's start it and let's change the iteration to 10 only so that it stops soon so let's run it you just need to run this file and everything will start uh, it will start optimizing automatically so let's wait for it yep optimization has been started so this uh, was for the demonstration purpose so if you require any help in your model or you want uh, to have this particular model for your research work or for any other work then you can contact us at uh, www.gcrlabs.org so let's wait for some time and let's have a look uh, uh, how it converges okay. further as per your requirement this optimization can also be changed to particle swarm optimization or genetic algorithm or wc algorithm or any gray wolf algorithm or any other algorithm uh, optimization algorithm which are available for the research purpose Okay, so let's wait for it. Generally, optimization takes a lot of time. Oh, we hope it finishes soon. Okay, let's close this one because it takes.
<sighs> okay, it is taking much time. So I think instead of wasting time now. Okay, so if you want these files, you know where to contact. And you can, if uh, you have any doubts or any suggestion or any queries, then you can let us know by commenting below this video. So I hope you enjoyed this project video. And if you want to learn optimization or any query related to MATLAB and optimization, you can let us know by contacting us at the uh, jcbarrowlabs at gmail.com. So that's it for this video. Thank you.